In ancient China, there lived a wealthy merchant who was known for his love of Buddhism. He had a vast collection of Buddhist scriptures and would spend hours reading and meditating on them. One day, a Buddhist monk came to visit the merchant. The merchant was delighted and welcomed the monk into his home. They sat down to tea, and the monk noticed the merchant's collection of Buddhist scriptures. He asked the merchant if he had read the Diamond Sutra, one of the most profound and important texts in Buddhism. The merchant proudly replied that he had read the Diamond Sutra many times and knew it well. The monk smiled and said, if you have truly understood the Diamond Sutra, then you must give away all your possessions and become a beggar. The merchant was taken aback by the monk's words. He had always thought that his wealth was a sign of his good fortune and the blessings of the Buddha. But the monk's words had planted a seed of doubt in his mind. Over the next few days, the merchant couldn't stop thinking about what the monk had said. He became restless and unhappy, realizing that his wealth had brought him no real happiness or contentment. One night, he had a vivid dream in which he saw the Buddha himself. The Buddha was holding a diamond in his hand and asked the merchant, do you know what this is? The merchant replied, yes, it is a diamond. The Buddha said, this diamond is like the Diamond Sutra. It is clear and pure, and it shines brightly. But if it is covered in dirt and grime, it loses its shine and beauty. The same is true of the Diamond Sutra. If it is only read and studied, but not put into practice, it loses its power. The merchant woke up from his dream feeling enlightened. He realized that his attachment to his wealth and possessions had clouded his understanding of the Diamond Sutra. He decided to give away all his possessions and become a wandering beggar, just as the monk had advised. The merchant wandered the countryside, living a simple and humble life, and spreading the teachings of the Buddha to anyone who would listen. He felt free and happy, and his mind was clear and uncluttered. Years went by, and the merchant grew old and frail. One day, he came across a young monk who was reading the Diamond Sutra. The merchant asked the monk if he had truly understood the sutra. The young monk replied, No, I am still studying it and trying to understand its meaning. The old merchant smiled and said, My friend, the Diamond Sutra is not just a book to be read and studied. It is a path to be walked, a way of life. Only by putting its teachings into practice can we truly understand its meaning. With those words, the old merchant closed his eyes and passed away, knowing that he had truly understood the Diamond Sutra and lived its teachings to the fullest. The lesson learned from this story is that knowledge and wisdom are not just gained by reading and studying, but by putting that knowledge into practice. The Diamond Sutra is not just a book to be read, but a path to be walked. The merchant's attachment to his wealth and possessions had clouded his understanding of the sutra. It was only by giving away his possessions and living a simple life that he truly understood the teachings of the Buddha and the Diamond Sutra. The story teaches us that true wisdom comes from living a life of humility, simplicity, and compassion, and by practicing what we have learned in order to gain a deeper understanding of its meaning. Thank you for watching. May you have peace and prosperity, and may all your wishes come true.